In this example, we're asked to write a formula for the nth term of the following geometric sequence, then use the formula for a sub n to find a sub 7, the seventh term of the sequence. So in order to find the nth term of a sequence, recall we're going to use the formula, which is the first term multiplied with the common ratio raised to the n minus 1. So a sub 1, our first term, is 5. Uh, we were not given our common ratio, so let's go ahead and proceed with finding it. Uh, so looking at our terms that we're given, uh, from the first term to the second, it, it's an increase, so obviously uh, that's going to be multiplication. So what did we multiply uh, 5 with to get 20? That's correct, by 4. So 5 times 4 is 20. Let's see if that works with the next term. 20 times 4, does that give us 80? Yes, it does. So our common ratio is 4. And so now we have everything we need uh, to plug into the formula. And by the way, n is what? Yes, n is 7, because that's what we want to find, the seventh term. So we're going to go ahead and plug in everything. We're going to start using the order of operation, which means you should do the exponents first. So that's going to be raised to the sixth power. And you can do that on your calculator, 4 raised to the sixth power. Uh, it's going to give you a large number. Uh, I believe that's uh, 4,096. And then you're going to multiply that with 5 to give you your seventh term. And that is 20,480.